Hello everyone, Shadefire here, and I'm taking a first impressions look at Against the Wall. Now this is the alpha development version. It's basically released as sort of a demo proof of concept thing by the developer, Michael Consoli. It's under it's under development by one guy, and it's one of those dealies where you can throw ten bucks at it and you'll get all the beta versions up to release, and then you'll get the release version. Presumably for slightly cheaper than the actual price will be when it comes out. Sort of like Minecraft or any other developmental indie game like that. However, I thought I'd give you guys a look at the demo thing because it's a pretty interesting concept for a game. So the basic idea is that the world of Against the Wall is just a giant infinitely vertical wall made up of these different sized blocks. And civilizations and ecosystems try to coexist on this wall by sticking out like this structure here. So we're just kind of thrown onto this ledge here. Uh, this wand thing we're holding gives us the ability to manipulate the walls, blocks, like so. And the basic concept right now is we want to manipulate these blocks in such a way that we can get up there. So it's a little bit puzzle and a little bit Jenga, I guess. Now you can jump about as high as the uh, height of this block. Like this one we wouldn't be able to jump on because it's too tall, so we have to do this, and then hop over. So really, at the beginning here, when it's just these white blocks, our only concern is what sort of pattern will allow us to continue higher. Now sometimes you have to kind of circle around. For example, when you get stuck with a bunch of these large blocks here, you've kind of got to go around to get on top of them. Yank a few of these out. You can see there's a whole line of these big ones here, so we're gonna have to get over those. So I'm gonna go this way. Ow, oh, and I fell. Luckily, there's another block here to blow. Get closer. This is still not enough for us to jump on this big one, so we'd have to hop across here. Then we can pull that one out. As you can see, nothing too complicated yet, but it does mix up as you get higher. Almost there. Now we can't jump on that one, because it's too tall still. However, if we do this... Sh oh, shit. Now, there is fall damage, but we didn't fall far enough to die. Now, one of the annoying things is when you screw up, you kind of have to deal with all your previous block movements to get back up. You kind of have to reverse all the progress we made. Luckily, we didn't cause too much chaos there, and we can kind of just follow our way back up. Okay. Oh, I did it again. Ugh. That's really the only annoying thing I've found with this concept so far, is that falling down is a real pain in the ass, because if it doesn't kill you, it means you have to go through all of it again. It's almost better if it does kill you, because then it reverses all of the changes you've made. Okay, carefully jump across here. Now the controls do feel a little floaty with the jumps, so that's tend to overshoot things sometimes. Also, perhaps would prefer if the uh, pull and push commands weren't on the same button, because sometimes you will try to push out the thing you're standing on when you're trying to pull out one above it. And I kind of prefer if it was right mouse button instead of both of them being left. Okay, I don't know if I can make this jump. We made it. Alright, and now we're level 
along with the structure. Make ourselves a nice little bridge. And here we are. And these orange, orangish brown blocks here, well, I guess they're kind of pinkish. You can't interact with these. These are like, I guess, metal or something? Some sort of material that is this immune to your wand. Obviously, elevators would be very handy in a vertical society. Now, we can actually skip using this elevator and just build a path all the way up, but I don't really see why you'd want to. See some vertical trees there. Now, of course, some of these textures and stuff look a little rough, but this is an alpha, obviously, so these are just, you know, working textures. I can climb all the way up the structure, but there's nothing there. It's just kind of supports. Gotta do some more wall manipulation. See, there's stairs here, but they're broken right there, so we'd have to go around anyway. I'm not really sure what the difference between the gray blocks and the white blocks is. I don't know if there is one. Oh, there is. Alright, so I didn't notice this before, but the gray blocks just don't come out of the wall as much as the white ones. of this size, you can actually just stand here and jump on top of them as you pull them out. As long as you don't let yourself get pushed off. This layer of stairs is also broken. However, there are stairs over here we can use. I have to go the roundabout way to get to them, though. We got a bit of a village of some sort here, including this sky bridge. I can't really do anything with this over here as far as I know. It's just a support structure going straight up. This kind of looks like an elevator, like the top of an elevator, but it also doesn't look like it moves. You can see out there, there are some green blocks that we can manipulate. We'll be seeing those in a moment. is pretty empty right now. Luckily this giant floating eyeball creature, which if you see there, it's actually just a tree, a floating tree. We can actually just ride this. However, riding a tree is dangerous, as we're about to find out. Gotta be 
careful about this. Uh, if we stay on too long, the tree will kill us. Alright. So that tree nearly smushed us in the wall, and I barely caught myself. Now, this is as far as I got before. We need to get above this forest. However, these green blocks are rather annoying, because if we try to jump on them, they immediately retract. So you have to run across them rather quickly. It's going to be a pain in the ass if there's no white ones to catch yourself with. Here, just hop over this one. progress in this where you're just kind of focusing on pulling blocks out and then you look up and realize how much closer you are to where you're going. So we need to get around these trees because they're both in the way now. Nope, nope, nope. Can you jump off there? I definitely did not mean to fall off there. get on top of these blocks, we could um, just kind of skirt in between the trees and get up to that area. If I pull all these out, I'll create a bridge this time. through here. We're going to have to pass through green at some point. So let's... Okay, that right there looks like where we need to get to. So we're going to have to go diagonally that way and then back this way. after a while that it's better to just leave a whole bunch of platforms under you so if you fall you have less backtracking to do. Really high height, and uh, 
don't die, manage to snag yourself on a ledge, then you've got to climb all the way back up. You gotta be really quick with these friggin' green ones. Just hop on them. Yeah. The thing I don't like about the green ones is that the momentum of them retracting will actually throw you off from your jump course. circle around that way, but we'd have to think across all of these green ones. It'd be easy enough if I just build a bridge and try to run quickly across it. I do like that there's a pretty much unlimited range on your retraction rod. So, all of these out, actually, probably pull them out in reverse. I'm not sure how brown blocks like this attract. Oh. Well, that answered my question. They just retract on their own after a time. Alright. So there's a big chunk of something. Here we do need to go back that way. Nice and quick there. This right here doesn't look like anything, it's just a 
chunk of metal or something. Yeah, there's definitely nothing up there. really almost pushed me to the edge. Alright, uh, we're almost at the structure, but how are we going to get on that? It's a little too far out. I guess we'll figure that out when we get there. I'm not actually sure how long this demo goes on. Be able to make this jump. Oh, I guess we just found the end. I mean, we could, I guess, keep going up, but I'm guessing after a certain point we'll just hit nothingness. Because if you fall, you can go down from where you start, but if you fall, you will just fall forever. As I will demonstrate now, if I can avoid <laughs> hitting everything on the way down. Just sidestep. So if you uh, are easily nauseated, this might be nauseating. There's where we started. And as you can see, you can still pull blocks out. I'm not actually sure if you eventually die. I always uh, quit back to the menu before I hit the bottom. Well then, this was against the wall, and uh, I hope you guys check it out. I'll throw up a link to the site so you guys can try this uh, alpha for yourself. If you want to go about it a different way than I did, and. Uh, yeah, that's a pretty neat idea, and I'd like to see where he goes with this. In his recent update, he was talking about how he's added biomes to the game. 
So that's neat to see, and I'm looking forward to releasing the first beta build. Because you can pre-order it right now for the 10 bucks, but if you do, there's no beta out yet. So you won't be getting anything that no one else has just yet, until his first beta build is released. Hope you guys enjoyed this look at Against the Wall. Until then, I've been Shadefire, and remember, always watch out for the green blocks. Still falling! <laughs>